Hi, this is Amy with Living My Beloved Life, and this is a TTC update, a much belated um, TTC update. Um, there's nothing to report, um, and then no miscarriages, no late starts of excitement, um, nothing. Nothing has happened, nothing has changed in the last several months, even though I haven't done an update. Um, and it's really disappointing, it's really sad. Uh, you know, I guess I suffer from um, what every woman does when this takes longer than you expect. In that um, you think, okay, I've decided and, and uh, I'm going to get pregnant and it should just happen, right? And it hasn't. And, uh, you know, I feel like I'm doing mostly all the right things and uh, it's it's not happening. Um, you know, my today is cycle day 26. So, uh, my flow should start any time now. Um, 26 is sort of about the average, maybe even 25. Um, I think last month was 23 or 24. That was really sad. And, um, yeah, there's there's nothing. You know, there's been fairly good about BDing on the right days, at least I think the right days. And, um, it hasn't happened. Um, I am sort of under a lot of stress, and I, I know that's probably um, contributing to some of it. Um, you know, work stress, and uh, I spend my Saturdays volunteering in a soup kitchen, and I have a lot of responsibilities there. Uh, but I love it, and uh, I know um, my guy keeps suggesting that maybe I need to give that up, but I'm, I'm not ready to cut that. It really does feed my soul, um, the work that I do there. So, you know, there's that. And uh, I don't know if I've said it before, but I'm working on my dissertation. Uh, I'm a teacher, uh, so I'm working on my dissertation in education. It will be a PhD. But uh, I had a big setback in November, and uh, I'm really trying to get over that. But I had to sort of mourn. And uh, I'm still trying to figure out, you know, next steps and move forward. Um, so, yeah, what do you do, right? Um, you know, I'm trying to be better about uh, having my green smoothies every day again. I think that's going to help. I have um, been back taking my um, prenatal vitamins and other vitamins uh, almost every single day uh, for probably the last two months at least. I feel good about that. Uh, I've been doing the evening primrose oil um, tablets, capsules, whatever they are, um, from you know the start of menses to the um, ovulation time, and I think that's helping. Um, I've had a lot more um, CM, and uh, which you know you don't realize that it's gone until you know you're at a time like this and you're trying to get that back um, so that's definitely helped I've noticed a lot more um, EWCM you know around the time of ovulation and um, yeah so I don't know I don't, I don't know what else to say <sighs> yeah right <laughs> just a big sigh so it's 2015 it's a fresh start right um, I'm for, you know, there's always moving forward and it's going to be a new cycle and I know, maybe maybe January is the month, right? Um, so, that's that's my hope. I guess, I think maybe it was this time last year that um, we really stopped actively pre uh, preventing. Um, <clears throat> We always just use the avoidance method. I haven't been on um, any other birth control for quite a few years. Um, it was always just avoidance. Um, but we've been together. And uh, so, you know, oh, we stopped that. I think it was, it was winter last year, so I don't know if exactly when. I'm pretty sure it's been about at least a year now. And then... I know it was spring when we really said, okay, we're going to go for this. So, yeah. 
There's for lots of baby dust in 2015, right? Uh, that's my only hope, um, is just to keep trying and, you know, continue to work on my nutrition um, and all of that. But, you know, maybe go to the doctor and find out if there are some other mitigating circumstances. Uh, you know, although, uh, you know, for me, I just, I can't see myself doing IUIs or IVF and all you brave women out there that do the, you know, interventions and do all of that, I, you're so brave. I, I just, I can't see myself putting my body through that hardship as much as I want a baby, as much as somebody asked me recently and I said you know if, if I never have a child in my life it will be one of the biggest regrets the biggest regrets I know um, but yeah okay I'm not gonna cry <laughs> uh, but gosh I just I don't know that I could put my body through all those shots and tests and <clears throat> evasiveness so, yeah, what do they say, you know, this is a year, I know I'm over 40, I'm 42 now, I'll be 43 in the spring, there's still hope, right, there are women older than me that have gotten pregnant, so I, there's still hope, uh, alright, well, I'm wishing you all baby dust, I will work to be much better in the future uh, with my updates, and I wish you all the best, everyone out there. Take care. Bye-bye.